Hey guys, welcome to MedBrain Media, and in this video we're going to be doing the General Immune System Quiz Part 1. Before we get started, I kindly ask if you like and subscribe to this video. It lets us know that you appreciate these kinds of videos, and it encourages us to produce more video content around quizzes in healthcare and medical topics. With all that said, let us get started. Question 1. Immunity is the ability of the body to defend itself against A. Infectious agents including bacteria and viruses B. Foreign cells C. Cancer cells D. All of the above Question 2 the nonspecific defenses are A, barriers to entry, the inflammatory reaction, natural killer cells, and protective proteins, B, antibodies, antigens, and antimatter, C, the spleen and thymus, D, allergies, edema, and regurgitation. Question 3. Barriers to entry of microbes include A. Oil skin secretions and stomach acids B. Normal harmless bacteria that prevent pathogens from taking up residence C. Mucous membranes that line the respiratory, digestive, and urinary tracts D. Skin that lines the outer surface of the body E. All of the above help bar entry by microbes Question 4. The stomach has a basic pH inhibiting growth of bacteria. A. True. B. False. Question 5. The Reaction is a series of events occurring whenever the skin is broken down due to minor injury. A. Allergic. B. Antibody. C. Complement fixation. D. Inflammatory. E. Suppressor T cell. Question 6. Blank are molecules initiating nerve impulses resulting in pain. A. Analgesics. B. Immunoglobins. C. Kinins. D. Histamines. E. Suppressins. Question 7. Histamine and kinins cause capillaries to constrict and become less permeable. A. True. B. False. Question 8. Any break in the skin can allow microbes to enter the body. A. True be false. Question 9. How can neutrophils and monocytes reach an infection site from the bloodstream? A. The blood vessels rupture at a site of infection. B. Neutrophils and monocytes are amoeboid and can pass through capillary walls. C. They are small and diffuse across membranes, just like food and gas molecules. D. They move upstream in the lymph system. E. The portable T lymphocyte differenti differentiates into neutrophils and monocytes when it arrives at the site of infection.
Question 10. What can happen to a bacterium that crosses the skin barrier and enters tissues? A. Histamine will poison bacteria. B. Neutrophils will phagocytize the bacteria. C. Bacteria liberate a growth factor that in turn increases the numbers of white blood cells that attack bacteria. D. All human tissues reject the bacterium and destroy it with lysosomes. Question 11. When monocytes leave the bloodstream, they differentiate into blank. A. Complement proteins. B. Antibodies. C. Interferon. D. Macrophages. E. Suppressor T cells. Question 12. Some tissues have blank that routinely act as scavengers, devouring old blood cells and other debris. A. Resident macrophages. B. Suppressor T cells. C. Backup neutrophils. D. Complementary B cells. Question 13. Pus indicates that blank. A. Body tissues are dying. B. The body is trying to overcome infection. C. Too much lymph has built up. D. The inflammatory response has failed to defend against bacterial invasion. Question 14. Complement is activated when blank. A. The inflammatory response has failed to defend against bacterial invasion. B. Antibodies have failed to defend against bacterial invasion. C. Microbes enter the body. D. Interferon is produced by viruses. Question 15. Complement proteins bind to the surface of microbes already coated with antibodies and release chemicals that attract phagocytes to the scene. A. True. B. False. Question 16. A virus infected cell produces and secretes blank. A. Allergen. B. Antigen. C. Antibody. D. Complement. E. Interferon. Question 17. A blank is usually a protein or polysaccharide chain of a glycoprotein molecule that the body recognizes as non-self. A allergen, B antigen, C antibody, D complement, E interferon. Question 18. The immune system is chemically able to tell self from non-self based on a lock and key receptor antigen fit. A. True. B. False. Question 19. 
lymphocytes mature in the bloodstream? A, true, B, false. Question 20. T lymphocytes mature in the blank. A, bone marrow. B, lymph in the general lymphatic system. C, thymus gland. D, thyroid gland. E, spleen. Question 21. B cells give rise to plasma cells which produce blank. A. Allergen. B. Antigen. C. Antibody. D. Complement. E. Interferon. Question 22. Antibodies bind with antigens in a lock and key manner. A. True. B. False. Question 23. T cells produce antibodies. A. True. B. False. Question 24. Certain T cells attack and destroy antigen bearing cells. A. True. B. False. Question 25. There is a different lymphocyte type for each possible antigen. A, true, B, false. If you made it this far, congratulations. Now it's time to check your answers. But before you do that, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check some of our other quizzes on our YouTube channel for past quizzes and health-related content that we have done in the past. Now let's see how many of the questions that you've answered you were able to get right. Question one, immunity is the ability of the body to defend itself against D, all of the above. Question two, the nonspecific defenses are A, barriers to entry, the inflammatory reaction, killer natural killer cells, and protective proteins. Question three, barriers to entry of microbes include E, all of the above help bar entry by microbes. Question four, the stomach has a basic pH inhibiting growth of bacteria. B, false. Question five, the D, inflammatory reaction, is a series of events occurring whenever the skin is broken due to minor injury. Question six. C, kinins are molecules initiating nerve impulses resulting in pain. Question seven. Histamine and kinins cause capillaries to constrict and become less permeable. B, false. Question eight. Any break in the skin can allow microbes to enter the body. A. True. Question 9. How can neutrophils and monocytes reach an infection site from the bloodstream? B. Neutrophils and monocytes are amyloid and can pass through capillary walls. Question 10. What can happen to a bacterium that crosses the skin barrier and enters tissues? B. Neutrophils phagocytize the bacteria. Question 11. While monocytes leave the bloodstream, they differentiate into D, macrophages. Question 12. Some tissues have 
A. Resident macrophages that routinely act as scavengers, devouring old blood cells and other debris. Question 13. Pus indicates that B. The body is trying to overcome infection. Question 14. Complement is activated when C. Microbes enter the body. Question 15. Complement proteins bind to the surface of microbes already coated with antibodies and release chemicals that attract phagocytes to the scene. A. True. Question 16. A virus infected cell produces and secretes E. Interferon. Question 17. An antigen is usually a protein or polysaccharide chain of a glycoprotein molecule that the body recognizes as non-self. Question 18. The immune system is chemically able to tell self from non-self based on a lock and key receptor antigen fit. A. True. Question 19. B lymphocytes mature in the bloodstream. B. False. Question 20. T lymphocytes mature in the C. Thymus gland. Question 21. B cells give rise to plasma cells which produce C. Antibody. Question 22. Antibodies bind with antigens in a lock and key manner. A. True. Question 23. T cells produce antibodies. B. False. Question 24. Certain T cells attack and destroy antigen bearing cells. A. True. And question 25. There is a different lymphocyte type for each possible antigen. A. True. Hopefully you got most of those questions right. If not, feel free to take the quiz over again. And just want to let you guys know, stay tuned for part two of the general immune system quiz coming soon. Please also leave your comments and feedback on this quiz. Tell us what you like and what you don't like. Should we make the quizzes longer? Should we make them shorter? Uh, your feedback definitely helps us so that we can make the best quizzes for you guys to study and practice. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you on the next video.